hands. We're gonna do another 20-ish minute feel good stretchy flow. So a little bit of longer held stretches, a little bit of a mellow breath to movement vinyasa in the middle. Um, perfect for if you just need to be rejuvenated, maybe after work, separating your day from what has been before to what you have to look forward to. And then a little bit calm, just kind of setting you up for a bit of a more pleasant evening. So I like to do these after work or after a workout just to kind of mellow out. I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna get started in a seated posture. Cross your right shin in front of your left. And we'll just start out with closing our eyes and placing our hands down somewhere on our legs. Grounding into this moment, into your body, into your breath. I'm just acknowledging that this is where you are and this is where you'll be for the next 20 minutes. Keep the back of your neck long, soften your shoulders down from your ears. Take one more inhale here. One more exhale. Blink your eyes open and if you close them, and then we're gonna inhale and stretch our arms overhead. Exhale, cactus your arms out to the side, magnetize your heart upwards. A couple more, inhale, sweep your arms high. Exhale, elbows bend down to the side, opening up your chest. One more here. Sprinkle your right fingertips out to the side, root down through both sit bones, and then sweep your left arm overhead. Take an inhale here to really open up through your left side waist, and then exhale, cactus your left arm, peel your left shoulder open, gaze up at this guy. Inhale, stretch your left fingertips forward over your right knee diagonally. And we'll spend an extra breath here, see if you can inflate your low back space on the left side with air, with breath, with intention. And then exhale, fold your body through center. Rest down onto your elbows or option to place blocks, whatever you need for support. Let your head hang heavy. Open up through your hips. And then come over to the other side. So left fingertips out. We'll actually switch the cross of our legs. And then inhale, sweep your right arm overhead, bicep to frame the ear. Open up across each rib on your right side. Exhale, bend your elbow, cactus your arm. Look up towards the ceiling. And then inhale, stretch your right fingertips diagonally over your left knee. Maybe we stay here for a few. Big stretch on the opposite side of the low back. Something very neglected, so stay here. Remain calm and present with your breath. And then exhale, fold through center. Rise back up, choose whatever cross of your legs that you want to do, whatever feels better. And then we'll move through one more side, just breath for movement. So right hands out to the side, left arm sweeps overhead, big inhale. Exhale, cactus, peel it open. Inhale, stretch the left fingertips forward diagonally. And then exhale, swivel all the way down to the other side. Left hand plants, breathe in, open up through the right side body. Exhale, cactus, your arm open your chest. Inhale, stretch right fingertips forward. And exhale, come back through center. Lift up. And then place your feet out in front of you. Bring them as wide as your hips. We're gonna drop knees from side to side. Lubricating through our hip joints. Next time they drop over to the right, I want your left arm to circle to the left, and then forward and then to the right. And then come 
come back through center, let your knees drop over to the left, and your right arm will circle to the right, and forward and to the left. Come back through center, knees point up to the sky, knees drop to the right. This time, press through your right palm, press your shins into the mat, and extend your hips forward. Exhale back down, knees roll through center, and over to the left. Left hand plants, press through your shins and feet, right arm lifts and hips drive forward. Exhale back down. Good, and we're gonna press through our palms, come into a Malasana Yogi squat, and just rock and roll from side to side. Rolling on to heel, and ball of foot, Switching legs. And then wide legged forward fold, prostrate to padatanasana. Walk your feet out wide, your toes and heels out. And let everything just fall out of the top of your head. Wiggle it out, shake it out. And we're going to breathe here for a few. really good. Spiral your inner thighs back. Maybe reach your chest forward on a halfway lift with the in-breath. And exhale, fold. Hang a little heavier. Two more like that. Inhale to ripple forward. Iron out your spine so it's nice and flat. And then exhale, belly hugs down for your thighs. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, release. Good. From here, we're going to find a skandasana into our right leg. So bend into your right knee, straighten your left leg, roll onto the left heel. And then if this is too much, just rise up into a skater lunge. So hands underneath you or on blocks for support, and you're not sinking your hip quite as far down to your heel. Take a breath in here. Take a breath out, swivel to face the front of your mat, hands frame your right foot. Inhale, open it up, easy twist, right wing opens up to the sky. And exhale, left knee plants, lower it down to the mat. Inhale, reverse your low lunge, right hand comes to the back of the left thigh, left arm sweeps overhead. And exhale, all, all ten fingers circle over to the back of the mat. This time our Left knee is planted and our right leg straightens out. So we're at the long edge of the mat and we're just gonna rise up, stacking shoulders over hips. And exhale, gate pose, right hand slides down right leg, left arm sweeps overhead. Inhale, see if you can really open up across your collarbones. And then exhale, find a deeper bend. Inhale, left arm plants, right arm extends, modified side plank. Exhale, tabletop facing the back of your mat. Take an inhale to cow pose. Take an exhale, cat pose round. Good, open up, swivel your left heel out to the side again. Inhale, modified side plank, right arm overhead. And exhale, gate pose, right hand down the right leg, left arm overhead. Inhale, grow tall through your fingertips, tall through your side waists, and then exhale, lower hands to the mat. Just take some rocking motions back and forth. Opening up through your right inner thigh. Good. Coming back to where we started from, we're going to switch legs. So let's find our wide-legged forward fold again. So just press through your palms. Step your left foot up to the mat and take a nice sway in your wide-legged forward fold. Good, this time skidvasana into the left leg. Bend your left knee, roll onto the right hip and stay here, find what feels good. One more inhale. Hands are at heart center or out in front of you for support. 
And then exhale, circle to the back of the mat, hands frame your left foot, right hand grounds into the mat. Breathe in as you sweep your left hand high to the sky. And then breathe out, lower your left knee down to the mat, scissor your inner thighs together, tuck your pelvis under. Inhale, reverse your low lunge, left hand to the back of the right leg, right arm overhead. And exhale, circle your arms all the way to the long edge of the mat. Now our right knee is bent and our left leg is nice and long. Inhale to stack your shoulders over your hips. Exhale, gate pose, left hand down your left leg, right arm overhead. Inhale, peel your right shoulder open, gaze upwards. And exhale, deepen your bend. Inhale, right hand plants, modified side plank. Left arm sweeps overhead. And then exhale, left hand plants. The left knee plants at the front of the mat. Cat cow, breathe in, dip your belly, lift your pelvis. Exhale, touch in, just round in your upper back, press the ground away. Okay, send your right foot out to this side again. Inhale, modified side plank. Left arm and leg are long. Exhale, gate pose. Lift it the other way. Inhale, grow tall through both arms. And then exhale, plant your hands in front of you. And then just rock forward and backwards. Opening up through the left inner thigh. A couple more times here. And then whatever way you want to make your way to wide-legged forward fold, I like to just press through my palms, step my right foot up, and here we are. Again, just sway side to side, find what feels good. And then ground your left hand down into the earth, and you'll just open with your right hand. And exhale, back down, switch it out. Right hand grounds. Left hand sweeps up. Exhale. Let this momentum carry you into your skandhasana, into the right leg. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Lower your hips to the mat. Plant your left hand behind you. Inhale. See if you have the space to open up into this modified wild thing. So pressing your hips up towards the sky, right arm overhead. And then exhale back through center. We're going to sweep our body to the front of the mat, frame your right foot, find a runner's lunge, inhale here, exhale ground, left hand into the mat, breathe in, open up the right hand to the sky, breathe out all ten toes, face the right, drop your left leg down, your left hip down for a revolve skandhasana, inhale, lift your hips from the mat, stretch your right arm forward. Exhale, lower again. And we'll stay here. Five breaths. Big outer hip opener, big side body opener. Let your outer left ribs drop heavy down towards the mat for two more cycles. And on your next breath in, all ten toes face forward, easy twist. And then as you breathe out, let your arms circle down over to the left. And find your wide leg and forward fold. Other side, plant your right hand, twist open to the left. And exhale, lower back down. Sweep right hand open. Gaze up to the sky. And then let this momentum carry you down until you find skandhasana into your left leg. Breathe in to grow tall through the back of your neck, the crown of your head, and then lower your hips down to the mat. Right hand plants back behind you if you have the space for it. On your inhale, you're going to lift up into your modified wild thing. Tough one if you don't have the space. Big expansive breath in. Exhale, release back down. We're going to turn our body to face the back edge of the mat. Runner's lunge, bend into your left knee. Exhale, ground, right hand into the mat. Inhale, sweep left hand open. Easy twist. And then exhale, all ten toes face the left. Lower right hip down to the mat. 
Inhale, arc through your side body, press through your right hand, reach your left fingertips. And then exhale, lower. We'll stay here for five cycles. Expand across your right ribs. Final exhale, release it out. All ten toes face the back edge of your mat. Easy twist, left hand high. And then exhale, carries us all the way to the long edge of our mat. Wide legged forward fold. Now, option here if you want is to take a headstand. So, if that feels not relaxing whatsoever, then stay in your forward fold. But sometimes inversions can be really nice. So if you want, find your headstand. I'm going to do interlacing fingers behind the base of your school. But if you want to take the tripod option, then please do that. Rest the top of your, the crown of your head on the mat as opposed to your forehead. Interlace fingers behind your school and press the ground away with your elbows to engage your shoulders. From here, walk legs out wide. And then hug your knees in towards your body. If you're able, you can extend them high and we'll hold for five breaths. Tuck your pelvis underneath you, point through your toes. Two more cycles. Last one, slowly lower down. Hugging knees in towards the body and then stretching your legs out wide. <laughs> Pop back up into your forward fold and we'll hang here for five breaths. Letting that energy move through us and starting to slow down. Walk your feet in, toes out, heels in, yogi squat, malasana. Still facing the long edge of our mats. Again, walk side to side or find stillness. And then we're going to sit down onto our bottoms, cross our legs over. A couple of final stretches here to slow down. So on an inhale, grow tall through your spine. On an exhale, take a twist, left hand over to the right knee, right hand behind you. Come back through center and switch it out, right hand to the outer left knee, left fingertips behind you. Use your hands as much as you want or as much as feels safe to open you up more. And come back through center. You're going to find a cow face pose. If that's a lot for you. Just find your easy seat with the forward fold for a nice hip opener. Otherwise, stack your right knee on top of your left. For less of a stretch, heels are in towards your body and toes are pointed. For more of a stretch, Flex at your ankles and have your shins parallel to the long edge of the mat. Make sure both sit bones are grounded. If you had a sandbag on top of your right thigh, and breathe here. If it feels okay in your body, you can start to fold forward. But either way, you're getting a great stretch. We'll do 10 cycles of breath. Everyone's favorite pose. Three more cycles. 
sit a little softer. Rise back up and we'll switch them out. Left knee on top of right, heels in with toes pointed or shins more parallel with ankles flexed. Ground down through well sit bones. Find your posture first. If that feels okay, you can start to lean forward. And send some breath into your little back space, into your outer hips. See if you can soften there. Halfway through to move deeper if you want to. comfortable cross of your legs and then you have the option to move into final stretches or shavasana or meditation otherwise we're going to end our practice here so close down your eyes take one more inhale together and then one releasing exhale out of your mouth thank you for joining Hope you were able to let something go in this practice and also find something that you want to hold on to and bring throughout the rest of your day or evening or week, whatever. Um, if you enjoyed this class, please share it with others and then like it and then subscribe so you see whatever comes next. But I hope you feel good in your body, in your breath, your mind, your heart, whatever is going on for you today. Find it on the mat, address it, and go be the best version of yourself. So thank you for joining and I'll see you next time.